calculator to see whether or not your the Pokemon you catch is good. I am going on vacation for three weeks, a hundred diamonds. My brain was just not braining. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sleep. This is day 68 and there was maintenance last night. So I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to feed my Snorlax dinner since maintenance started at 9 p.m. my time and I was waiting for some more ingredients to come in before I was able to feed him. But then I forgot that maintenance was coming so I wasn't able to feed him dinner. But because my boyfriend and I were playing Baldur's Gate 3 until 3 a.m., when by the time we got to bed, we were able to feed our Snorlax because maintenance was done. So you'll see here that I have two sleep sessions. The first because I thought I just missed the opportunity, so I put my Snorlax to sleep. So this is technically the second one of the day. And I'm feeling a little anxious because it is Tuesday today. Thursday, I actually go on vacation for three weeks and I have a lot that I still need to do. So I got my day full today. Now let's see what kind of friends we have. Oh, another Chikorita. Oh, two Chikoritas. Okay. So I'm very happy about that. Ningen Kami-sama was asking me what sort of Pokemon I was looking forward to catch on the full moon event happening soon. And honestly, that was a great question because I haven't really put much thought to what kind of other Pokemon I want to build or put resources in. So... Yesterday, I started using the Rayon, Rayon, or is it Rayon X calculator to see whether or not your the Pokemon you catch is good. And then there's this other resource that shows an Excel sheet ranking the Pokemon from best to worst, so a tier list. And I kind of want to grow a bay leaf, raise a bay leaf. So if you guys are working towards something, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions of what sort of Pokemon I should get, let me know as well. So I didn't have the premium biscuit because if you guys remember, I did a sleep session last night and then once I was done in Baldur's Gate 3, I ended it so that I could feed my Snorlax. So the premium biscuit is gone. I forgot what I used it on. But let's try to catch a Chikorita. Let's, let's try this one. And I got very lucky with that. And now the resets over here but now the friendship level is at four and i'm just gonna end the session i won't try to catch that psyduck leave it as that picture And let's see what sort of Chikorita we've got. Ooh, leak at 60. Not the most ideal nature. So probably end up being exchanged for a candy. A lot of sixes. Now let's see, yay, Charmeleon popped his skill, oh, also, I don't think I recorded this yesterday, but I did end up um, evolving my Charmeleon.
Aqua popped his skill, very nice. And my bell sprout as well, but we just woke up, so that energy isn't really going to be that useful. Okay, now let's pick up the sleep points. And let's feed him breakfast. So last night I wanted to make the bulk up bean curry. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to save that meal for the stream. Not the stream. For the video. So let's make that. Add in some milk, ginger, and looks good. I wasn't able to make this before due to my pot size limitations, but now that I've discovered more sleep styles, I was able to increase my pot to 33. So 5k, very nice. And we leveled up the dish to level 11. So yeah, I briefly mentioned I am going on vacation for three weeks. So unfortunately, I won't be able to record or upload any videos. So I'll miss this. But I hope you guys are ready for some news, updates, and more videos when I get back. Which should be around... The last week. The second last week of October. So I'll definitely be here for Halloween. Looking forward to see what sort of things they come out with once Halloween comes along. All right, let's see what everyone caught. So slumbering, slumping sleep. I heard the drill is really good. Then MacFam found an outflung sleep, sleeping mime junior. Sitting Growlithe. I, stayed at sign beach because i really wanted to catch mime jr now that mime jr is not really that great on the tier list i'm like hmm the novelty kind of dies out but it was exciting while it lasted because of the newness of it <clears throat> but i do want to i do want to also raise a mareep so hopefully we will be able to find a good one and my voice is getting all raspy Sorry, I'm going through them pretty quick. And as a reminder, if you guys want to add me on Pokemon Sleep, my research ID will be in the description box below. When I first started playing, I really wanted... My top threes were Clefable, Sylveon, and Lucario. But the main skills for those three. Not really... Oh! Joan Lix, that's a shiny Ghastly. Nice! And if you guys are also curious about the resources I mentioned early in the video, the calculator and the Excel tier list that I saw, I'll share it in the description as well. But yeah, one thing I didn't know that a friend told me is that if you send your Pokemon to the professor, you get candies back. But they can't be in a team already and they can't be favorited. Wait a minute. Oh, this is previous research. I could have sworn I opened this yesterday. Oh my god. 
Oh wait, no, this is her diff her old account that she got locked out of where she got her shiny caterpie. Interesting, so after the update, pretty much all of the things I've opened got closed again. Oh, the shiny Pikachu. Singing sleep. Do you guys do this as well or do you just not? <laughs> Shiny Larvitar. This is a clever name. Well, you probably won't be able to see it. It's kind of pixelated, but it says Abby there for you. Pretty clever. Evo Stevo. Elfser. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm so jealous. This is the shiny Magnemite and Gengar. And that is it. We are at the end of our list. Let's see how much, how many friends. So I'm at 37 out of 50 for my friends list. Oh, and I also linked my account yesterday. So I wanted to show you guys this, but if you link your account to either your Apple account, Google account or Facebook account, you get a hundred diamonds. So don't forget to claim that. So that pretty much, wait, let's put it on the ditto, on ditto Dave, the cutest, but that pretty much concludes the episode. Thank you so much guys for joining in on yet another episode. Not much new today. Very excited about the updates. Actually, let's check because with the new maintenance and stuff that happened, our Pokemon in our Pokebox should have regenerated some HP. And I don't know if it did. Hmm, let me let me look at the patch notes. Changes to energy recovery. Okay, I didn't see this yet. After considering the options of oh the opinions of many players, we have added a function to make Pokemon in the Pokemon box recover some energy. Energy equal to 5% of your sleep score will be recovered. This will be this will be reflected after the next morning's sleep research is finished. After the next morning's sleep research is finished. Example. Okay, this is an example. A Pokemon with zero energy on the previous day will recover five energy the next morning if you got a score of 100. Ah, uh, so it's not that much, but over time, you will see your Pokemon energy go up in the box. Pokemon on your current team will continue to recover energy in the same way that they have until now. This new change only affects Pokemon in the Pokemon box that are not on your current team. If you use a recovery incense, Pokemon in your Pokemon box can recover 10% of your sleep score. The usual five plus another five. Oh. The above effect also applies to the second sleep session of the day. Adjustments to, adjustments to energy recovery based on Pokemon natures will be applied to each Pokemon individually. Up until now, 
Based on the game's overall balance, only the Pokemon that were only the Pokemon that were on your team when you slept would recover energy. Based on many comments that it was difficult for Pokemon in the Pokemon box to recover energy, and that they would simply stay there at low energy for long periods of time, we have changed the game specs so that you wait so that all your befriended Pokemon will recover bit by bit through your daily sleep. Please keep up the sleep research with lots of Pokemon. Now I don't know if that me, but whoa, <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but that last paragraph was pretty hard to read. Like my brain was just not braining. But interesting. So that explains why I didn't see much of a significant jump in the recovery of my some of my Pokemon. Like for example, Raichu and Clarice, they were completely drained. But now they're at like 6%. Raichu is at 4%. Let's remove this. But yeah, so that's the tea on the energy recovery stuff going on. Mm, I guess it makes sense. I mean, if it were any higher, I can see how that could get abused. So I guess I'm just really looking forward to what the changes will be for when we cook Snorlax's meal and how our current helper team can regain energy from that. So let's see, only time will tell what that will look like, but excited for that. And yeah, so now that concludes the end of our video. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble on. With that being said, thank you guys so much once again for joining me in another episode of Pokemon Sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go get your diamonds and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow and until then, take care.